How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's good, people? It is a day of another day of another day that we call Thursday. Anybody been to that? What's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe on this Thursday day. <laughs> Anybody been to that? What's going on, people? Oh, this has been a day within a day within a day within a day. Oh my God. They said it would be like um, 100 degrees today and stuff, so, you know, I got up early because I wanted to get out the house, you know, to get some um, toiletries and stuff like that, you know, and food, you know, for, you know, being late on Thursday and stuff. Um, you know, because some, some people always go out and stuff, but I like to have everything, you know, first thing in the morning, get up and go out and get everything I need, especially before it gets really hot and stuff. And the, People, you know, get up and start, you know, moving around, always try to get everything done. It kind of breaks down on the traffic as far as the line and stuff. So, you know, I went to the store and everything, and I got into the line and stuff. And you already know, I talked about this before, how the universe works and how much I hate it. But it's so funny. So, you know how much I Raven hates to get attention and stuff like that. We already know Raven doesn't dress like this when I go out because I would be a hypocrite if I said I don't want attention and I'm dressing with my holy dress on. Now this is the thing. So I go to this store and everything. I'm covered up like I always am because I don't want to be bothered. And another thing is I just, this is the thing with me. Like I don't mind people looking at me, you know what I mean? But then they just, you know, it's a thing called, okay, this is the thing. When you see somebody out there, you know, you look, it's just like this. That's it. But people don't do this to me. They go. Well, let me see if this is a damn man or a woman. Let me look at this bitch. Ugh. Please. <laughs> so I'll be like, you know, this is this is like you 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 just like you're trying to fuck with me, you know, I don't like that and stuff. So I put a hat on stuff like that and another reason why because guys have been known to follow me up to my apartment and knock on my door. But I ain't gonna go into that. So anyway. So the thing is I got the line and everything, you know, when you can decide the line to make you stay a few feet back and stuff, you know, when the next spot comes, you know, you walk on up to the front. Well, of course, you know, I already told you how the universe works to me. So when I get along, the person standing right next to me. It's like, oh, my God. And today I had to hit my Jesus moment because I was like, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Do I have to do that? Because I was so mad. Like, I was like, oh, my God, oh my God this going, like, Jesus, please, please, just talk to me. Hold my hand, Lord, hold my hand. I was so mad because I'm like, why is you standing right here next to me? Like, this this place is empty. Why is you right here when you know you're supposed to be at me? So, so I just said, you know, I'm not going to say anything, just just have your Jesus moment, just walk out the door. So I walk out and everything goes to the store. So um, I'm walking everything and I noticed that there are a lot of guys that could come out of prison and stuff that's out now. And I guess everybody's looking for somewhere to live. I don't know, but something just seemed to be a little odd and stuff. But I, I you know me, I watch everything. So, you know, I went to the store and everything and I, I bumped into somebody who don't know better with me, but I knew it was them from BGC. And the thing about it, I didn't say anything to them, I didn't bother acknowledging anything, I already knew who it was, and you know. So, I, um, I, I went to the store and said, come on out, I'm not walking on in, you know, I'm trying to get on in, you know, home, and here it is. A guy was like, um, excuse me. Now, you know you, now, you know how we get, we did that, excuse me, you like, please don't be talking to me, and we know damn what they're talking to me, it's like, excuse me, so you know me. I'm acting like I, you know, I got my earphones on, which is not really on, on, you know what I mean, so I can hear everything that's going on. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I ignored him. I kept going, and, you know, he crossed the street, and I crossed back over. I know, guys, said told me, they said, baby, why do you do that? Because I don't, I don't have time to explain, you know what I mean? Like, what are, what are we going to talk about? You're going to say, um, how you doing? Because my thing is this, I always feel as though, Excuse me means to me. Excuse me. I want to get up so I can get a real good look in your face and see what you are. Is that an Adam's apple? Let me look at you, bitch. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Let me see if mm -hmm. titties mm -hmm. that real. So avoid all that. I'm like, I don't have time for it. And I know some people say, well, maybe he may want to be with you. Child, what is it going to do with getting me? Honey, listen. <laughs> he could find a girl who's not jaded and stuff. He has a better chance. 
you know, as far as having a happier life and stuff, and not with someone like me, because, you know, um, I'm a jaded bit of bitch, and there's no ways around it and stuff, and, you know, the thing about it is that, you know, I'm not going to put a man through any troubles or take him through anything that he has to go through because of my past experiences and what I've been through. I think it's fair, you know, and, um, I, I, I just don't get it, so... <sighs> We already know, I always say all the wrong things when men walk up to me and want to talk to me. I say everything wrong. And in case you don't know what I say, this is what I say. This is how you do it. Hi. Now, I'm not talking about on, on the streets because I don't talk to you on the streets. Even if you come up here, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that to you because I'm just not there yet, you know. So the thing is, like a guy, you realize how you doing. He's like, well, I want to video camera with you. I want to see what you look like. He wants to see what it look like. Like I said before, let me, I want to see if I can spook what you are. I mean, I already know what you are, but I want to see if I can tell. You know, I have to see you pass the test. So get on the video and stuff, because I've seen the pictures, but I want to see my stuff in the video, live version, because I want to decide whether I want to be with you or not. Yes, we want, you want to decide whether you want to be with me or not. Okay. So, get on camera and things. So I'm sitting there, I'm waiting. You know me, I'm just like a bitch. So I'm sitting there, just waiting. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just waiting. He goes, oh, you're very pretty. I don't believe. And I know people say, baby, you are pretty. I don't see it, and I know you're going to get mad at me, but it is what it is. And I, I love you for your luxuries, and you try to get me to see something I don't see. But thank you. I don't see it. But anyway. And it's not because I keep wanting to hear it, because I don't want to hear it. Anyway. So the thing is. You know, he gets on the camera and everything. He was like, well, what's the little of that with you? I said, well, I'm going to need two types of men. He said, well, what types of men are that? I said, cops or felons. They're the only ones that seem to like me the most, and they're the only ones, the ones that always seem to push down the door when they get to me. He said, well, I, I ain't sure hell ain't no damn cop. I was like, okay. So you know what I thought? It must be a felon. Not that felons are bad, because, you know, I have no problem with that, but it's, Certain fellas I don't want to mess with because I, I know the mentality is not the same as other guys who are felons and stuff. Some fellas are not really felons, you know what I mean? They just got put into a situation and there's some people that just really kill people with no problem and walk away, which is the real killers, you know, but it is what it is. But if they crazy, I can find them. Anyway, so he's like, well, I ain't no felon. I said, well, how tall are you? Because, you know, I'm a tall bitch and when I looked at your pictures, stuff, you look pretty short and stuff. He said, I said, what are you, like 5'7"? No! Ain't no 5'7", I'm 6'5", I'm listen. Either all the girls where you live at must be giants, because you're the shortest one in the picture. <laughs> I was like, okay. Honey, he got mad and hung up on me. <laughs> it is what it is, you know, because you lie, you know, and it is what it is. And the thing about it is that, you know, you have your preference, what you want to have a preference I want. Not that I say I was going to date. You know, height don't really matter to me. I don't really care about height. Because we already know the, top, the tallness of bottoms and the shortness of top. And the thing about it is that, you know, I don't really care. Just be funny. I don't want to meet another man and want to show me how easy he could be. I don't want to meet another man and let me know that he could knock somebody the fuck out. I get it. You, you're just a tough guy. I just don't want that around me, you know what I mean? If I'm already in a dark spot, I don't need somebody bringing me even to a darker spot, you know what I mean? So, you know, so that was just very much it and stuff. Raven always has the wrong questions to say and ask a lot of guys that was upset with me. It's like, you know, why would you ask me that? Why would you ask me? Because I want to know. I want to know, have you ever killed somebody? I want to know because I know that I would live in the belly of the beast and I know the kind of people that's attracted to girls like us. And I'm not saying all guys are from that attract to us. But I'm just not trying to find out, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be an experiment to a situation when they say, Well, Raven, did he ever tell you he killed anybody? I said, yeah. No, I'm not doing it. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to share this with you in reference to how Raven always says the wrong damn thing. Do you ever talk to someone and you find yourself asking questions that you shouldn't ask? Or do you find yourself that you need to be asking these questions because it may be the life, it may be... A, a matter of life and death. It would have been said. I love your feedback on this, and I want to let you know I love you, and I want to thank you for watching. Get the rain.